Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, we got it. Right, we got it. Right. If you took us to Hollywood, they'd send you back and say, nah, that's unbelievable. Yeah, never sell yeah, that. Footballer, right. becoming a boxer. <laughs> right, Carly wants to write me book. I want to the biggest bidder. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, So proud of you. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! And the news! And the news! Fuck you, baby! I love you, baby! Fuck you, baby! What a fight! Oh, my God! 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 I got halfway through and I thought, fuck me, this is a good fight. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it. I'm fucking. Yeah, yeah. Burn catches IFL TV with me. <laughs> new. 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 British right. fight, well, wait, champion, coach, what else? Coach, wow, wow. Uh, what a fight, first of all. Oh my god, um, listen. First of all, listen, credit to Darren Hamilton. Um, he was very respectful in his post fight interview. Said it was a close fight, could have gone either way, so, but. You've got it, and you said it was your destiny. You said okay. it was your destiny. Listen, you can beat me, anybody can beat me. You can't beat destiny. And Darren Hamilton ran, in, ran into destiny tonight. But let me tell you, look at all the people I've fought. I've fought some top, top fighters. That was the hardest fight of my career, bar none. He took me to hell and back in there. But listen, I told you, when it came, comes down to who wants it the most, I won't be found wanting. When you have to dig deep, when you have to go a little bit more and go to that place where your opponent isn't willing to go, I'm willing to go wherever it needs to be to win the title. I don't, I've got a wife and three children, but I was willing to die tonight to win, and that was the difference. Going into the last round, what were you told? I was told, I was told it was, listen, it's all on the last three rounds. I got told in the corner it's a three round fight. I think they had it all level after 10 rounds, so it's a three round fight, and like I said, when it comes down to who wants it most, I'll never be found wanting. Definitely. Um, skill, listen, skill, if it comes down to a skill game, then yeah, people might be more skillful than me. But when I get people in the trenches, it comes down to nuts and guts. You ain't beating me. <laughs> nuts and guts. You ain't beating me. <laughs> Curtis, talk to me about the influence of your team that you had around you this time. Adam Booth, Gary Logan, Bobby Rich, Ryan Rose, Dave Caldwell. Yeah. Talk to me about that. Well, listen, you put the camera around this room and you look at the knowledge that they've got in this room, you know. If there's something about boxing that these guys don't know, then I want to know it. Because, you know, they know everything. They're an encyclopedia. We've got Ryan who's fought for every title. There is Adam Booth, world champion. L listen, what I say about Dave Caldwell is, and, and Eddie Hearn, probably universally respected as the best promoter in the world. But you look on Eddie Hearn's resume, they ain't anybody on there with six losses. You know, boxing's a conveyor belt. Someone loses, the next one comes along. Dave stuck with me when I've lost, been knocked out, lost on points, and everyone around me said, oh, well, that's his level. He's found his level. Dave's always rang me up the next day and says, right, we're out again in six weeks. So stop sulking and let's get back in there. It's been a real team effort. And we've stuck together through thick and thin. And maybe that's a lesson to other promoters out there. You know, when you have tough times with your fighters, stick by them. And maybe one day they can become British champion just like me. <laughs> Talk to me about this five grand bet. When was that put on? Well, it's just a rumour at the minute going around. I rumor. can neither confirm nor deny the rumour. Why can't confirm it? <laughs> because I don't want the British Border Control stopping me collecting my dough. <laughs> <laughs> 50 to 1. So apparently, yeah. 50 to 1. Apparently. <laughs> Allegedly. So, Curtis, you, you said it before. And yeah. You just said it on Sky there now. Yeah. This is it for you. And is, you're not going to sleep on it? And no, listen, my wife there, she's there. She makes the decisions. And she said to me, no more. <laughs> She can't sit through no more. And listen, I've had a great ride and, um, you know, this is the end. How can it get better than this for me? Definitely. The word dedicated to your dad. Yeah. Listen, listen, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, listen, I told... Yeah, my way. They said it all when I came out to it. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, man, I did it my way. Yeah. Listen, I got, I, got, I got a phone call one day um, from the hospital that told me to get to the hospital as soon as you can because your dad's not going to make it. I went there and my dad was um, in the process of dying. The doctor said that they, that they couldn't do nothing for him. And I sat by his bedside for about an hour and a half and just thanked him for, for everything that he'd done for me, my, him, through my football, through my boxing and everything. I, I promised him there and then that I'd win the British title for him. And every promise my dad ever made me, he kept. I, I didn't want to let him down, so I, wanted, I needed to win this tonight. I did it for him. Oh, Stop done. making me cry on camera. You've done it. You've done it, man. Did Listen, enjoy the rest of your night. Whatever you decide to do after the day, well done. Thank like you. I said. It's a massive, yeah. massive congratulations <laughs> to Cody Goodhouse. Yeah. Gary.
we've got to say, that's how we do. That's just <laughs> how we do. Oh, All we do is win, win, <laughs> win, no <laughs> matter what. <laughs> oh, I'm going to talk uh, to some of your team now, so you yeah. play right now. I have to go and kiss Don't my wife. Don't get Chinese. <laughs> Dave Corwell. Wow. First British uh, champion for you. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about no. the first. No, no, no. well, no, because we had Ryan. We had Who? We had Ryan, <laughs> we had Kel Brook. <laughs> but, 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 as a promoter, as a promoter, as a promoter, as a promoter, right from the front, oh, all the yeah. way through. Oh, man. Who can you fuck about him anyway? Don't forget about right. me then. You know, Golden Boy. That's a promoter. That's a promoter. I don't take your own right away. But your thoughts, just quickly, your thoughts. Oh, absolutely amazing. <laughs> absolutely amazing. You know, with, um, I'm, I'm a bit speechless, to be honest, right now. Um, you know, he's putting in the work. Ryan's putting the work. Curtis is putting the work. Adam Bull's putting the work. He's had, you know, Spencer, Spencer Fern, my, my business partner. Come here. Come here. Man never comes on camera. I, I couldn't do what I do without his mind as well. You know, he's a man that's, that's behind me on 100%, back to me on 100%. Whenever, whenever Curtis has got beat, I've said, he'll come good, he'll come good. <laughs> this man here. So, you know. The team Coog. The team. I don't, I, listen, I'm full of shit tonight because I don't really know what to say. Because I'm, honestly, I've got to say, it's just from day one, it's always been about British title. It's never been bullshit. All I've said all the way through for Curtis, we're not aiming for world titles, it's about British titles. And tonight, he's done what everybody said he wouldn't be able to do. The British champion. We believe him when he says that's it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because I, I understand, I understand his, his thinking behind it and why, why he's there. So, you know, he's achieved it. And how, how is he going to top it? You know, that's the way to go out on top for him. Okay. It'll be amazing. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Right. Thank you very much. Stop on first. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, cool. So people don't forget about you because you're a former Yeah, yeah former. former. But you had a party play in this and you must be ecstatic. For, for I'm Curtis. over the moon. I've been, I've been training with Curtis. I've trained Curtis for the last four, five months now. Five, six months. And uh, i tell you what, that feeling tonight was as good as, as me winning my first British title. Honestly. I was like a baby and I was up crying everything. I mean, my emotions were, weren't crazy. It was an absolute great, I'm absolutely buzzing for the kid. He's, he's lived his, he's, he's done his dream tonight. That was his dream tonight. I'm so pleased for him. All right, listen, Ryan Rhodes, thanks for talking to IFL Thanks, Cook. And uh, see you back at the Holiday Inn. Absolutely. <laughs> Beers on you. <laughs> on him, 50 oh, yeah. to one. <laughs> yeah, but he can't collect it at this time. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's one.